Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another video in a series of videos all about this Artec 181 inverter MIG welder. Quite a lot of people have asked me if you can weld aluminium with one of these inverters. You can weld aluminium. The first thing you need is a bottle of organ. There's no getting away from it. You need pure organ to weld aluminium. Then there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can change the liner in the torch. You can change the rollers on the feed motor and you can put a spool of aluminium in and it will weld aluminium. You need a diff different contact tip for the aluminium, but it does work. The problem you have is feeding the wire. It, it doesn't like tight bends, it starts to snarl up. It's not the best way to do it, but it does work. The best way to do it is one of these things, which is a spool gun. That replaces your torch as a control wire plugs in, and this contains a roll of wire. This, the feed for the wire is only four inches, so it, it, it feeds no problem at all. Plus, I think it's a four meter length of cable you've got, so you've got plenty of room to get around whatever you're trying to do. So I think what I'll do is I'll show you how to put the spool of wire in here, how to plug it into the machine, how to set it up, and then we'll do a little bit of welding. This is the inside of the spool gun. That's where the wire goes. That's the feed roller there. Little idler, and that's the tensioner. The tension's a wire, and the wire comes out through there. There's two types of wire. That one there, 4043, which is silicon based. That's for welding castings. This one here, 5356, it's got magnesium in it. That's what we're going to be using for welding extrusions, flat plate, box sections, that sort of thing. It's 0.8 wire, and there's a half a kilogram on that roll. Roll combs, shrink wrapped, ready to use. It's got sort of one ambition in life, this stuff, and that is to escape from this roll and burst or grenade everywhere. So you've got to make sure you're in control of it. Simply goes onto there like that. There's a little adjuster on the end. You tighten that in, and that tightens or slackens how much friction is on the roll because you don't want it going and getting escaping on you. Right, so we've just did the friction on the roll so it won't roll away by itself. It's got a little bit of friction on it. Next we need to get the end of the wire out from its little hole. Trim the end off. And it goes through there. Goes up that little little gate tube, like that, and then basically once you've got it there, it's kind of safe, wind a little bit of tension on, right now we've got it gripped in there. Next we'll move on to the welder and I'll show you what we'll plug into the welder to make it work. We've removed the MIG torch, this simply replaces it, plugs in, it only goes one way, like that. Control cable plugs into there where it says spool gun. That only goes one way as well. Like that. Right, the earth remains in exactly the same place. Right, I'll power the set up. Defaults on the easy set MIG with 5% CO2 gas. We want to take the easy set off. We've got an option here saying spool gun. So we'll go along until the spool gun flashes and turn that on. So now spool gun is on. This one here, burn back control. We've got control of that as well. Once that flashes, you control your burn back up to two seconds. You need about 0.4 to 0.5. Right, so now we've got a straightforward MIG set. That's our wire speed, that's your voltage. Something like 9, 8 or 9, and about 16 volts will work for what we're going to be doing. Simple as that. Right, now we're back to the torch. If I pull the trigger, it feeds the wire through. Right, we need to trim the end of the wire nice and neat. We put a new tip in. Now 
Dus dat is net wat dat hasn't gonna go. Ridiculous. And the shroud simply slides over there. And that's it basically ready to weld. This is a butt joint in two mil aluminium plate. One or two differences between welding aluminium MIG and welding steel MIG. With aluminium you need a longer stick out. Normally start off with about an inch and then move down to half inch once it starts to weld. You need about a 20 degree angle, push angle, and you always push. If you start pulling with aluminium MIG, you do get porosity. So it's quite a quite a long stay out to start. Once it starts to weld, you can close in a little bit, and your welding speed tends to increase as the metal heats up. It is a very, very fast process. That's why it's used in production aluminium work much, much quicker than TIG welding. Once again, clean it up as best you can. So this time, it's 12 meters a minute and 20 volts. We'll start off with quite a long stick out. Once it starts to weld, then you can move in. We'll do a little bend test on the weld we've just done. Not very scientific, but I'm sure I'll get the point over. Right, so it hasn't cracked, it hasn't broken, nothing's happened to it. Right, I'll bring the camera in and have a close look at that, but that's, uh, that even surprised me, that. Right, that's the weld we just tested. It's full of 180 degrees. This is a fillet weld in exactly the same material, using the same settings. I'm going to do a little bit of a mechanical test on the weld. People seem to like mechanical testing. Of course it is destructive. Well, I'm sure you'll agree that that is welded under there. It isn't coming off. No. I well, more practice, I think. <laughs> what about that mask? I love my mask. No fumes? No fumes. I'm sure you'll agree that it does weld aluminium and it welds it quite nicely. It's not going to be a TIG welder, but if you're fabricating from aluminium box section, angle or flash sheet, it is ideal. If you decide to buy one of these for your 181 or any product from our tech, be sure to mention my name. It certainly won't do you any harm. Anyway, thanks for watching.